Hi, this is Megan Darty with the Providence Real Estate Group at Keller Williams Clear Lake, and I'm excited to be back with my Love Where You Live series, and I'm here today with Tom Langley from Turnkey Inspections. Tom is someone that I've worked with for many years now, and uh, I value his expertise and the way he works with my clients, and uh, I'm excited to learn more. Tell me about Turnkey Inspections. Tell me about your experience as an inspector. Oh gosh, so I've been doing inspections now for 10 years, since 2013. Um, and then I got kind of into the teaching aspect of things. But as far as turnkey home inspection itself, uh, we've been here in the Houston area now for right going on six years. And um, love helping the community, love helping people. Uh, want to make sure that uh, they get thorough inspections and they really know what they're buying. So we're all about helping folks. So what areas of Houston do you service? Oh my goodness. So if you were to be in Lake City, we'd draw a hundred mile circle around it. Okay. We're going to go out a hundred miles. Okay. Yeah. So that pretty much covers all of Houston. Um, as we know, Houston is massive. And so you guys are all over the place. Yeah. yeah. Okay. We, we're good with Katie, Conroe. We'll, we'll go out as far as we need to go for our clients. Fantastic. Yeah. Cool. All right. So... As a home inspector, what do you find as the five most common fixes that people can do before they list their house? Oh gosh, that's a great question. So, um, I guess the first thing that always comes up on inspection reports, and you probably know this, uh, is that uh, air conditioners are dirty outside, right? Yes. And a lot of times they're dirty at the evaporator cool too, which is going to be at the air handler, typically in the attic in this okay. area. So. Uh, getting that service, getting it clean. It's not super expensive, but it's one less thing that comes up on the report. And then um, number two, I'm going to say would be caulking. I got to tell you, I get tired of writing caulking up. and but it it's all the time. It's a, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's, it's a necessity, and it's something that you should do to make sure your house stays good air, and airtight. But um, that would probably be number two. And so then, even homeowners that, even if you're not looking to sell your house soon, it's a good maintenance issue or a good maintenance thing that you can do to, to improve the functionality of your house. Oh gosh. Yeah. Everybody should Absolutely. Do Absolutely. And having an inspector come in and, and, and do a maintenance type inspection, yeah. it's a full home inspection, but you've been there, you kind of become eye blind to things. So it's always good. It's, it's an investment. So making sure that you're actually maintaining that investment really yeah. does really is important. But I guess number three would be like a roof tune up. Okay. So if you're going to list your house, Get a roofer out, go ahead and have them look at it, make sure they do a tune-up on it. It's just not just an inspection, but it's actually getting up and caulking the nail heads and making sure the flashings are correct and making sure there's no damage to missing shingles. So definitely well, well uh, something that would really help uh, when, before listing the house. And then, um, you know, <sighs> clean out your peat traps. Okay. You know, slow drain sinks, they okay. come up all the time. And it's a very simple procedure to clean out the hair out of those pee traps. So it's not just some Drano pour down the sink. <laughs> no, that's really not. <laughs> so clean them out. Those little pee trap cleaners are super inexpensive and um, easy to do. And then one of the big ones for me is light bulbs. Okay. Replace the light bulbs. Why? Because we don't know if that fixture is actually working if that light doesn't come on. So then we're, we're, we're writing up two different things. Yeah. We're writing up possibly that the switch doesn't work or possibly the light bulb. So it's great to have all of those things that could be nothing to keep them off the inspection report. So if you know something's not working, I always tell my clients, go ahead and do all the things that you know need to be touched up, need to be fixed, need to be uh, you know, taken care of prior to even listing your house. So not only when you're showing it, it looks good, people are not noticing that and steering away from your house, but also then for an inspection, those things are not going to be on your list, yeah. and we can look at the and focus on the anything else that hopefully will, you know. Exactly, it, and, it, and it's all about if you get less things on the report, the chances of them asking for things okay. are a lot less. Yeah, and it helps they, people it, not be worried about, because when you get a 30-page inspection report, you think the house is falling apart, but it's, you know, things that you gotta, gotta sort through, and it could be something as simple as a light bulb. It could. It yeah. could be that simple, yeah. So, the less you have on that report, the better off you are. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, absolutely. Okay. So, what are some things that homeowners that have their house on the market, 
uh, they have a contract, an inspection is scheduled. What should they do prior to an inspection? What does an inspector like to see when they walk into a house? Oh, wow, that's a, even a better question. <laughs> um, tidy up your house. Okay. You know, you know we're coming. Uh, be on it. You know, make sure the dishes aren't in the sink. Make sure that we're able to inspect the sink properly. Make sure that we don't have clothes just that we're going to trip over. we got to get up and around. It, it, just tidying up the house is a huge step in the right direction. Okay. A huge step. So making your job easier mm -hmm. yeah. by removing the clutter. And I've seen things like inspectors can't get to the AC in the attic because the attic is slammed full of things. That's exactly or, right. Or uh, the garage door. They can't test the garage doors because the garage is full. So. That's exactly right. And that was one of the things that I was going to say. Make sure that those accesses yeah. are accessible and make sure that we're able to get to the equipment that may be in the attic or the panel box. So that would be another one of those things okay. outside of just tidying up the house yeah. that they could do. Because okay. you get, you know, you're packing, we get it. But then you got half the garage full of boxes and where's the panel box? <laughs> Behind them. Yeah. Okay. And an inspector is typically not going to take an hour out of that inspection right. to take the boxes because then we got to put them all back. Right. Right. So, yeah. it, and, and don't leave expensive cars underneath attic accesses, things like that. Yeah. It really does make a difference. Okay. Um, that's the big stuff, okay. you know. Um, of course, we like cookies. <laughs> right? A little persuasion, a little treat while you're there uh, for a few hours. <laughs> yeah, if it, you know, it, it really, it, it's just about, it, we're going to get there, we're going to make sure we're going to leave it like we found it. Yeah. So, keeping it to where we can get the things and, and move around the house, make sure those utilities on. I don't know how many times people move out of the house, yeah. And they turn off those utilities. We can't do a thorough inspection yeah. if, if those utilities are on. Yeah. And they're supposed to stay on until it they closes. Are. So, they are. yeah. Very important, though, yeah. for an inspection to yeah. be able to make sure that everything's Kind working. of important. Yeah. Yes. 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 Fantastic. So, what do you see as some of the kind of common myths in <laughs> this real estate uh, world that, that we live in? Oh, man. So, as far as inspectors, you know, it goes without saying we can't tell the future, right? We don't know what's going to happen from the time that we lock that door and, and leave a day from then, an hour from then. It doesn't matter. Um, but people tend to think that we know what's going to break down the road, and, and things are going to break, right. right? So when we do an inspection, it's, it's always on that day, at that time, this is what we were able to find, and then we can go into... Um, talking about possibilities, and that's exactly what they are. Because I've seen thirty-year water heat, thirty-year-old water heaters that work fine, yeah. and I've seen five-year-old water heaters that are going to fail in two days, yeah. right? So, uh, being able to tell the future, we can't do that. Yeah. That's what, that's a big one. Yeah, right. I yeah. wish, just like people ask me, what interest rates are going to do next year, <laughs> or, or X-ray vision. Yes, that's yeah. another one, right? We yeah. can't see through walls. Yeah, right. Uh, so having that X-ray vision, it'd be nice. Yeah, gotta say. Yeah. Can't do it. Yeah. So what are some things that makes turnkey? I mean, I know why I have you on my list of top, top recommended um, inspection companies, but what are some things that you pride yourself on with your staff and everything that, that really just makes you guys top notch? Okay. I, I guess I can answer that question. You know, Teach your horn a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> so integrity is one of the biggest things. Okay, so we're there for the client. And honestly, that's how all inspection firms should be. Yeah. Unfortunately, in our industry, we see that, that, that where that doesn't happen. So integrity is one of the biggest things. Another thing would be, we like to deliver those reports as quickly as possible. Mm -hmm. So we tend to get those out before we leave the house. And so we're doing the inspection on the fly, right? So we're actually taking the pictures, we're adding those comments while we're standing in front of it yeah. so that we don't forget something. Right, so it's very important, but that does allow us typically to get those inspections out before we leave. Um, explanation, presentation of the inspection. I think that's huge because there's so many there's so many companies out there that won't take the time to sit down with their clients and actually describe what's going on yeah. and give them a full explanation. And they're nervous as cats anyway, right? So we like to try to settle those nerves because most things in a house can be explained. Um, it's just the major stuff that can be a little aggravating. So again, presentation would probably be one of the key factors. Um, 
And I would say that's probably one of my most favorite things about you guys is you are very good at taking the time afterwards to talk us through things, to let the clients know, you know, what the explanation is or, you know, what, what is a, a, a major concern that you would, you see. Um, also, you know, I've had you guys where you zoom, uh, or, a fa um, FaceTime some of my clients that are out of state because, you know, sometimes people can't be at the inspection. Um, and so as a realtor, when we try to be there for the inspection, but also I think it's important for a buyer to hear it from, from your mouth directly. Absolutely. So you guys are fantastic about just communicating and um, making sure that my clients have all the information that they need. Yeah, and with that, we do strive with that. So yes. That's something that we want to really work towards and make yeah. sure that happens. We we're, we're there for them even after the inspection. Yes, and I've called you multiple times down the road, or have my clients call you back, or whatever, and we're like, "Hey, can you explain this again? Or what did you mean by this?" And, and that's how? something that happens. We go into a house that's furnished. Yeah, it's got things, people's belongings. Uh, we tend to call that clutter sometimes, but for them, it's not. Yes. Um, and there's things that we just don't see, and then they get moved into, and then things are found. So yeah. we're there throughout the process. Yeah. And then I've had clients call me three years down the road and go, hey, I ran into this. Can you tell me what's going on? Can you explain it to me? And absolutely. Yeah. Once you're our client, you're always our customer. Yeah, so. I appreciate that. Yeah. So not only can people use you guys for the home inspection when they're buying a house, but like you said too, the maintenance inspections. Huge, that is huge. Yes. You know, I, I, in fact, we talked about it not long ago. Um, people know about being yeah. nose blind, mm -hmm. right? but they don't think that they can ever become eye blind. And you, you really do, because you walk by something and you think, oh, I gotta fix that. And then six months later, you're like, I really need to fix that. And then a year from then, you're like, yeah, it ain't, it ain't hurting. <laughs> and that's not the way we want to treat our investments. Right. And a house is an investment. Yeah. So having a guy come out, an inspection company come out, uh, you know, every three years, yeah. right? Just to go over things and give a full report on the house, there's going to be some things that you're not seeing that would help you with that maintenance process. And if you get to it early enough, mm -hmm. it's a whole lot less expensive. Yeah, yeah. And we're not trained to to see some of the things that you guys see. That's right. So, you know, you're going to bring to people's attention things that are important that can become a major detriment Absolutely. to your house and, and you can provide, you know, that. Absolutely. We find safety issues all the time. Maybe a ground wire off of a, a pool heater has mm -hmm. become disconnected. That's a problem. That's a safety concern. We want to make sure that that's all bonded to the grounding system. Well, we we may find that on a on a maintenance inspection, and yeah. that's something you can get repaired, and that way your family's safe in that pool. Yeah. Yeah. Well, Tom, thank you so much for taking the time to explain some things um, about inspections, what people can do to protect their their biggest investment. And um, if you guys are looking to get a maintenance inspection or you're going to be buying a home, I highly recommend Tom at Term P Inspections. And uh, again, thank you for taking the time to, to give us some more information. Absolutely.